Here's to the ones that we got. Revelations chapter 21 from verse 1 to 6. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them, and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. 
He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water, without cost from the spring of the water of life. Amen. We're grateful to Elam Jijonu for bringing us the Bible reading. We're also grateful for Tima and her friends for paying such glowing tribute to Elvis. Beloved in the Lord, we will prepare ourselves for the exaltation by together here. singing here, so words of the hymn, O Lord my God. Okay, he, he's, he's framing, he's framing. Shall we go?
life with you in eternity. Therefore, we give you glory. Let your word, oh God, bring comfort. Let your word bring understanding. Let your word bring insight to us that we will live for you all the days of our lives. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm reading from Romans chapter 14, the verse number 7 and the verse number 8. Romans 14, verse 7 and the verse number 8. And I read from the New King James. He says that we do not live for ourselves. He was writing this epistle to Christians. He said that you don't live for yourselves. You must understand that as a believer, you are bought with a price. Christ paid the price for your redemption. He paid the price for your salvation. And so Paul is telling us that we must remember that we don't live for ourselves. And then he says that we don't also die for ourselves. The verse number 8, Romans chapter 14, the verse number 8. He said, if we live, we live for the Lord. I mean, as you listen to the testimonies being shared about our brother Elvis, an amazing church life, amazing family life, an amazing corporate life, a well-balanced life. He had a maximum impact at church on his family and also concerning his career. Now, Paul is saying that if we live, we live for the Lord. You live for the Lord. Why? Because it is the Lord who paid the price for your rescue. It is the Lord who paid the price for your salvation. So if you are here and you are a believer, you are a Christian, and you are born again and a child of God, your life is not for yourself. You are living for the Lord. And then he also says that, and if we die, we die for the Lord. If there is a time to be born, then there is a time to die. The mystery is that you don't know when your maker will call you. And so you must always live ready because God can call you at any time. Our Savior, our perfect example, our Lord passed on to glory at the age of 33 years. Elvis extended that age. He went beyond that age. But I believe in God's word that if you live, you live for the Lord. If you die, you die for the Lord. And then Paul says in conclusion that whether we live or we die, we are for the Lord. So there is no disadvantage. Whether you are alive or you are dead, you are for the Lord. In Philippians 1, the verse number 21, Paul the apostle says that for me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. That when a Christian dies, it's not a loss, it's a gain. Cynthia, this is the scripture we believe. This is the scripture we're standing on. That when a believer passes on, it's not a loss. It's a gain. That is what Paul, who says we should emulate him, tells us. That if we, for him to live is Christ, and for him to die is gain. The question to you and I is that who are you living for? Are you living for yourself or you are living for Christ? If you live for Christ and you die, you die for Christ. If you are living for yourself and you die, you are dying for yourself. My prayer for you this morning, this evening, sorry, Cynthia and the family and all of us guarded, is that we will make a decision to live for the Lord because we don't know when our maker will call us. Shall we bow down our heads for prayer? Metia Sia Metima Sami Wuswa Mewuma Sing it again for the last time. Metia Sia Metima 
celebrate the life of Elvis but you have not made a decision to receive the Lordship of Christ and to accept him as your Lord and Savior it will be a great injustice for me to finish this word without giving you the opportunity to make the Lord the Lord of your life wherever you are I'm not a Savior but I know the Savior you want to ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life that is the wisest decision you can make for your life. That is the beginning of your destiny. That is the beginning of your purpose. That is the beginning of your assignment and your calling on the face of the earth. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died and you died for me. Tonight, I confess you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus. And I say that I am born again in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, tonight we are grateful. We are grateful because we are standing on the authority of your word. And we celebrate the life of our brother, our husband, our father, our friend, our colleague, and our boss. Lord, from the testimony we heard, from the church of Pentecost and from his friends we have no doubt that Elvis has joined the spirit of the just men who are made perfect and they are watching over us tonight therefore we are grateful we ask that your spirit your presence will comfort the heart of Cynthia and the children and the entire family we ask that your presence will bring strength to them that they will understand that they have not lost their husband, their brother, their friend, and their colleague, but that Elvis has gained and is with you in eternity. Thank you, Father. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, uh, Pastor Kojo Frimpong, for that wonderful word of exaltation. If you're just joining us, we're celebrating the life of Elvis Koku Kwashi. We're remembering him, thanking God for his life, though short, impactful here on earth. And we're very grateful to God for that opportunity. And we thank you for that wonderful word of exaltation. Uh, very, very thought-provoking indeed. If you dropped today, where would you go? Are you living for yourself or for Christ? Elvis has led the way for us. We believe as Christians that when you die, though it's a loss here on earth, it's gain in heaven. And for that, we're grateful to God. And we're comforted knowing that because God is always with us. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, one of the initiatives that Elvis heavily supported was the establishment of the Multimedia Choir. Today, they have their hearts drenched in sorrow just like all of us. But they have song, song that will lift our hearts, song that will go to comfort us in this rather trying time. So beloved in the Lord at this time, would welcome up here to the stage the Multimedia Choir to give us some songs please give them a round of applause and if you're just joining us remember that we're live on the joy news channel and also on ways or tv we're gathered here tonight celebrating and remembering the life of elvis koku kwashi hallelujah Oh, 
Katrina When you sit down Hallelujah Oh, Jami 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 Shall we sing together? Beloved in the Lord, at this time, we do realize that all your candles are lit. And once again, respectfully, I would like to welcome Pastor Kojo Frempong to give us another dose of prayer. We do realize that in these times, no amount of prayer is ever enough. So let's get a second dose so that it galvanizes the strength of this family in this rather stormy time. Shall we please rise to our feet? And let's pray. Father, tonight once again we are grateful. Tonight once again we say that thank you. Thank you for the life of our brother, Elvis. Thank you for 
bringing him to this world. Thank you for the impact that you allowed his life to bring on the face of the earth. Thank you for his family. Thank you for the children. Lord, in all this, we are saying that thank you. Thank you because you are the one that knoweth the end from the beginning. We can never question you because you are the only wise God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We believe that our brother lives on. We believe that his values and his legacy still stands. We believe that the next generation from his loins will carry the mandate that you placed on his life. For that reason, we say to you alone be all the praise, to you alone be all the honor. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And let somebody shout an amen. Amen. Oh, Kaye. Can we sing it together? Uyo nyamia, uyo nyamia, uyo nyamia, usa chanda. take your seats. would like to remind all of you that we're live on the Joy News channel and also Wazor TV. We're grateful to all of the media teams that have come together to make sure that all of our friends who could not be here physically are also joining us and praying with us. At this time, I'd like to welcome up here a brother and a friend of Elvis's from church. They fellowship together at the Central Assembly in Mataheko. And um, of course, it's in the Church of Pentecost. They're both elders, and they all inspire the younger generation together. Today, Elder Kwame Uwusu is also touched, just like all of us. And he wants to share a song to celebrate the memory of Elvis Kwashi. Elder Kwame Uwusu. Thank you very much. There's this song and that Elvis will not stop singing. Even though it's an Akan song, he is an Eve. He loves singing the song. And always will love to sing. Yes, uncle. 
Sunku Na anti rang pamba ansu Hey Ni muna Hey Minya ensi Rapa Tadaboshi Tadaba, Mia Shira Nimuna, Mia Shira Tadaboshi Tadaboshia Nimuna.
Yosu, we are very grateful to you. Thank you very much for lifting our hearts. Thank you very much for lifting our spirits to God. Beloved in Christ, please forgive me. It's a difficult time. Pastor, could you from Pong please help us with another word of prayer? Shall we please rise to our feet? Oh, thank you, Lord.
Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you because we began with you. We thank you because your presence was here with us. We thank you because our hearts are comforted. We thank you because of the reality of your word in our spirit. Thank you because, Lord, our consolation is that we are not dead to earth, but our brother is in heaven. Thank you for the comfort of the wife and the children and the family, the friends, the colleagues, even at work. Thank you because this evening you have given us hope that it is not over when we check out of this world. Thank you because you are Lord over the living and over the dead. Thank you because your word is faithful. Thank you because we know that we are not living in your presence. Thank you because we are assured that you will send us to our various homes safely. Thank you because you are not living the family of Elvis here alone, but your ever abiding presence is with them. Tonight we give you praise. We give you glory. Lord, thank you once again. Blessed be your name. Now unto him that is able to keep us, unto him be your glory and honor unto him that is able to establish us in the faith unto him be all the praise unto him that is able to preserve us and deliver us from the wheels of the enemy unto him be all the glory may the lord keep you may his countenance shine upon you may the lord be gracious unto you know that in christ no matter what comes against you you will prevail and you will overcome thank you father blessed be your name in jesus name and let somebody shout an amen thank you very much uh, as you all know this is uh, just the beginning of a series of activities to bid formal farewell to our brother and colleague Elvis Kwashi. Shortly we will invite the family head to give us an announcement of arrangements for the funeral and other activities that will follow. If you just joined us, we've been celebrating the life of Elvis Koku Kwashi. We've been live on Wezo TV and also on the Joy News Channel and also live on radio on Joy FM. Uh, this production has been done by an executive producer, uh, Stan Dogby and the team. We're very grateful. Um, on behalf of the family and everyone here present, we say God bless you. We're very, very grateful for making time to join us. And as we share the rest of activities, in commemorating the departure and final funeral rites for Elvis. Uh, we believe that you who have been here with us will continue to be with us. We will at this juncture invite the head of the family, Mr. Joshua Tijonu, to give us arrangements uh, for the rest of the activities. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. I once again thank all of us who has made time to be with us this very evening. It has been so difficult for us, like I said before, but I believe that God will serve. You see us through. Uh, this is just the beginning of the funeral of the late Elvis Kogu Kwashi. And on behalf of the Bonodi Kwashi and Allied families, I just want us to understand and know that we have just started the, the, the funeral from this very evening. And on Friday, there will be no way keeping. There will be no way keeping on Friday. And on Saturday, uh, on the 12th of March, by 8 o'clock in the morning, we are all going to gather at the forecourt of the State House to start the funeral proceedings. And after the church service is over, are the four court of the state house, uh, the body will be conveyed to his hometown, Asarame, for burial. 
And uh, as we will be leaving the ground, the funeral will continue until the evening of that same Saturday, the 12th of March, 2022. And on Sunday, the 13th of March, 2022, there will be a memorial thanksgiving service at the Church of Pentecost.